Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is quite simply the most simple kit that I've come out with. It's a fun kit for beginners. Uh, it's neat. It's a conversation starter. There's actually two different versions. I call it the Relaxatron. Relaxatron! This is the version 1. This is version 2. Version 2 can be used. You can uh, use it as a necklace. There's two holes where you can put a chain around it. Fun for parties. Great conversation starter. This version has a switch on it. And it's great for just gapping out. You just gap out and stare at the uh, rainbow LED. It just changes and changes. And uh, one uh, dollar store uh, CR202 uh, 5 battery. Any coin battery will work at 3.3 volts. And it will give you a solid 24 hours of at least of, uh, of light and ever-changing LED color. Now the neat thing, I'll just pop this in. The neat thing is, uh, even if you left it on for more than 24 hours, you just noticed that it would it would stop being so bright. And after a while, the blue LED wouldn't turn on as much as much. You wouldn't get as much luminescence out of it, and so on and so on. But uh, if I just left the, these on, if I came back 24 hours from right now, they should still be going relatively strong. You might notice a little bit of a decrease. But for, at the dollar store, you can typically get three of these batteries for a dollar plus tax. Uh, but the the uh, LEDs, they just you just keep changing colors and uh, it's really neat it's a lot of fun I'm gonna show you how to put one together in just a second but this version right here you can use it yeah you can use it as a tree ornament place a little loop of string around these two holes place it on your tree it'll be it's a nice thing for you and your kids to put together or you yourself if you if you need some uh, basic soldering uh, practice you know if you're just learning how to solder it's extremely easy to put together and uh, you can walk around with them. You don't need to connect them to a power source because they've obviously got their own battery. So I'm going to show you how to put each of these together right now. This is what comes with version 1. Now if you purchase uh, this listing, you'll actually get a version 1 and version 2 uh, kit with all of the components and you can refer back to this video at any time to put it together. So what it comes with is a battery, uh, a switch, a rainbow LED, a printed circuit board, a battery holder, and a 470 ohm resistor. Now first things first, we're going to place the resistor, the uh, LED, and the switch. And then we're going to place the battery connector on. The switch has a little notch on one side, right below the switch itself. That notch faces outwards, so it faces this side of the board when you place it in. You're going to need a fine tip soldering iron to get all four, five holes soldered. Very important. The two holes on the left and right are, they basically act to hold the switch in place and the three holes in the middle act to uh, act as the switch leads. Very fine soldering iron, iron for, needed for those holes. Uh, if you do short you can use uh, you can use a solder sucker or some solder some solder wick to remove the shorts. It's pretty easy to solder. It should pop into place relatively easily. Um, you shouldn't have too much of an issue. The uh, rainbow LED has a short lead and a long lead. The short lead goes in the left pin from this perspective. There's a little indicator labeled L1 for LED1. Place the short lead on the left pin facing L1 and the long lead on the right facing uh, this side of the board from this perspective. Oops, looks like uh, my switch is magnetic or at least my screwdriver is. In any case, uh, once you've soldered those two into place, you take your 470 ohm resistor and you place it in the R1 slot labeled R1-470R. And once you've done that, you want to go to the other side, you want to make sure you've clipped all of the leads really, really short so, uh, so that you can place your battery connector on. So I'm, again, long lead on the right for the, for the LED, short lead on the left. Solder those into place and then I'll show you how to place the battery connector. Now that everything's soldered, place the battery connector with the edge right here facing right and from this perspective, simply make place the uh, place the leads through the holes. From that orientation, do not reverse it, and take your soldering iron and solder the battery connector into place from the top. From there, pop your battery in and turn it on, and the rainbow LED should turn on. Let's give it, let's give it a try. The battery pops right in. You'll hear it click. Just pop it in, there you go, turn it around, turn on the switch, and there's your Relaxatron. And it changes colors, there you go. So let's put together a version 2. It's actually a little bit simpler. Like the version 1, 
place your 470 ohm resistor in the R1 slot right here and place your LED in the L1 slot here. Remember the short lead goes in the side facing the L1 footprint, so the bottom of the board from this perspective, and the long lead goes in the top hole from this perspective. Make sure you don't reverse those or your relaxatron won't work. From there, what we're going to do is we are going to put in our battery connector, but we'll do that in just a second. From there, the notched side of the battery uh, connector should be facing the left, and from this perspective, merely take the relaxatron and line up the two battery leads from this perspective. Line up the holes. Might be a little bit difficult for me to do that from this perspective, but let me just... There we go. Holes lined up. Solder them into place, and we'll test it. From there, take your battery, pop it in, and there you go. Place a little loop uh, around here to make it a Christmas ornament. One that you or your you and your your uh, son or daughter can put together with relative ease. Uh, just need a soldering iron. And uh, yeah, so that is the Relaxatron. I apologize for the lighting. These actually look a lot cooler in real life, but really all you need to focus on are the colors that are constantly changing. And all you need is a couple of uh, a couple of dollar store batteries. Usually you get three for about a buck at the dollar store. I will include. Um, it will include batteries for both of them. You will get, you will receive the parts for both kits when you purchase the listing. I'll have these available very soon at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.